Hello, and uh, welcome back to Scripture Chat. I'm Pastor Andy. I'm Pastor Bill. And we come to you every Wednesday, most of every Wednesday, right. to talk about uh, the Bible or the other things about the Bible. We've been talking about a Christmas carol. Yeah. We're about to finish that up. But uh, we have some things coming up that are we're pretty excited about. Oh, yes. Easter, right? Yeah. Easter! Uh, uh, Thanksgiving. No. Oh, maybe it's the 4th of July. Fireworks! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, now, if you're really watching this in real time, it's Christmas. It is Christmas. Yeah. Just a few days away. And, you know, typically Christmas Eve services, we all gather together. We get families sun, and friends. We candlelight. Candlelights and, and carols, carols and, um, uh, in there. <clears throat> and this year, it's a little different. Yeah. A little more challenging in some ways. Yeah. Because I know that Christmas is one of those times that we really look forward to being all together face to face. But, well, and, and you know, families are separated this yeah. year, so. Um, so we're still having a Christmas Eve service. Absolutely. It will still be at 6:30 um, on Christmas Eve, the 24th. There. That's our tradition here in tradition North Minister, at Northminster. Um, but unfortunately, we can't come together in the sanctuary. Nope, nope. The um, county still says don't do that. Don't do that. But as you pointed out, and I pointed out in various forms, um, we can worship God in a variety of ways. We and We do don't, not have to be together in the building. We do not have to be inside a building to do that. But we do like to be together. We do. Um, so we're going to encourage you, a variety of options in the sense, you can continue to watch our service on the live stream, you know, either on YouTube or Facebook, whichever you prefer. The you links can, will be on our webpage. The link, links will be on the webpage, like always. Or... We're encouraging, if you're up to it, to come to our church parking lot. If you remember, during the summer and the fall there, we had worship service in the parking lot yeah. as a drive-in thing. Mm -hmm. Then the weather turned. And the we weather turned, go anymore, yeah. got cold, windy, damp, a whole variety of things. We didn't want to lo lose electronics. But because it's 6.30 and it's dark. It's going to be dark out there. It's going to be dark out there. Yeah. We're able to put out a big, huge screen, big 8 foot by 8 foot screen, and a video projector. And so you will see, sit in your car, like a drive-in movie, drive movie theater, theater. you will be able to see and hear the worship service. The worship the, service will be on the speakers yeah. and on your car radio and, and projected up and on, projected the on the screen. And you'll be able to see everything that's happening in the sanctuary. And I would say a good 50 plus percent has actually been pre-recorded yep. of other people doing readings. Again, we are honoring that social distance. It'll be a lessons and carols. And so the... Scripture passages have all been pre-recorded out. You'll be able to see their faces anyhow, um, whether it's like... And you'll be able to sing your Christmas carols, carols in the car. car. If you want to open your windows, you can listen to each other. Right. Might be cold, though. Wear a sweater. Right. <laughs> um, and you can sing as loud and whatever key you choose um, <laughs> that way. Um, and there's a few other little cool things. Um, Andy will, along with the singers... Um, come outside actually we're gonna join um, you join you for uh, for the final um, carol and there we have uh, fireproof candles we have some <laughs> fireproof candles so you will not burn down your car but we will still have the candle and we'll still have that candle beautiful. lighting happening um, and tell your friends and family um, and invite them to come mm -hmm. in their vehicles each family unit that lives together in their own cars right keep and safe keep, keep separated. safe and there'll be the signs that tell you how to go around the building if you Always don't remember. Always coming out from McKinnon if, you're, uh, if, oh, if you know yeah. where the building is. Yeah. Um, and our ushers, parking ushers, will be out there. They'll be yeah. the ones that'll be shivering in cold, but they are willing to sacrifice that <laughs> for you in that Christmas. Yeah. It should be a wonderful time. I but hey, so. but then, but then, our tradition in Northminster for the last twelve years or so is on the Sunday after Christmas, or if Christmas is on a Sunday, Sunday. we get together for brunch. Down uh, in Geneva room. So we're skipping it. We're not doing no, it. No, we are still going to do it. We are going to have. Brunch. But we can't be together. And we cannot be together. But we are. Some of us are going to be here at the church. Yes. Separated out, and we are going to be on Zoom. And so we will send out the Zoom link, link. where you can come on board, join us at your kitchen table, table. wearing your pajamas, and uh, we will have. We'll sing carols. We will have some time for you to share some stuff that you've done around Christmas and how you're feeling this year. A sermon, of course, because we have to do that. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a wonderful experience. Now, I have always invited people to wear their pajamas to our to our yeah. brunch on uh, the Sunday after Christmas. And a couple of times people have. Mm -hmm. This time I, you can, because uh, you don't even have to leave your house. Still need to be appropriate pajamas. Yes. <laughs> but we will not be in the parking lot. We won't be broadcasting that day. Yeah, so. there'll be no broadcast. It'll all be from... 
All uh, on Zoom. All on Zoom. And if you're not a Zoomer, you'll still be able to watch you it on live stream. stream. You just won't be able to. Right. See so you on the website. Yeah. Um, you won't be able to get your two cents in of your favorite carols <laughs> or whatever. Right. Uh, Very good. So we're just looking forward yeah. to that. But uh, why don't we get into the end of the Christmas, Christmas carol. carol? So we had the ghost. Well, first, we had Marley's ghost it's, and the knocker. Right. The ghost of Christmas past, yeah. a little candle thing. The ghost of Christmas it's present, present always it. joyful, and everything was in the moment. Right. And then. then the Phantom. Dun, dun, dun. The Phantom. What's, how, how is it Phantom that? on the opera? No. It's, uh, it's the Phantom. It's the, the Phantom. Yeah. The Phantom arrived. The Phantom arrived. The Phantom just rose slowly. Three. And he didn't say a thing. Yes. And he just. On the wrong <laughs> stay. The Phantom slowly, gravely, silently approaches. When he was near, Scrooge bent down to his knees, for in the air was thick with the spirit that seemed to shadow the gloomy and mystery. Mm. <laughs> and this ghost, this spirit, this phantom, doesn't say a word. Speak to me, says Scrooge, and yet the spirit just points through his dark clothing. Yes. And he points at things that are happening that are going to be in the future. And you can't even see his face. No, he's just this, just this malevolent, you don't know what the future holds, so it's frightening. For those of you who have read some Harry Potter, think of the Dementors. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we say, why doesn't the spirit speak? Why does he only point? That creepy finger. Um, well, it's an interesting ponderment. Um, my f sort of thought that comes around that is if he speaks, then he's giving an opinion or perspective. Yeah. And Scrooge isn't learning or filling his heart with the knowledge in there. Um, think about it. When you describe something, a story, you know, maybe it's a hike or an event that's happened, you put in your perspective. There's no way of truly doing it by neutral, being right. neutral in it. You're going to somehow say, oh, the blues were like blues ever before. And you're going to somehow start to put an opinion in. And and the future hasn't been written yet. Right. So you can't speak of the, the future. future. The ghost of the future Christmas yet to come can't say anything because it hasn't happened yet. Right. And, um, you know, so he sees all these horrible things. As he sees the people laughing about somebody who died. He doesn't know who it is. And they're just laughing off. Oh, I'll go to the funeral if there's lunch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> philosophy. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, or then the, the, the people in the pawn shop. Yeah. Bring the bed curtains. They ripped the bed curtains down while it was still on the bed. Oh my gosh. They're still warm. No respect for him. You yeah. Know, no, he still doesn't know who this person is. Um, and then he gets. He starts to wonder who. Yeah. Who is this what person? What are these events? And, and then he, they get into this. They go into Tiny Tim's house, yes. the Cratchit house. Yes. Right. And everybody's quiet and sad. somber. And Bob comes in with his shoulders empty. Where's Tiny and Tim? Him. Well, he's in the grave. Yeah. You know, he would have loved it. You know? Right. And they're trying to put on a brave face because Tiny Tim, for lack of medical care, doesn't live. He right. doesn't have enough money. And then the gravestone at the end, you know, with his name Ebony famous Scrooge. Scrooge on that, that untended gravestone so, because nobody cares about him anymore. Right. But you know what's interesting? On that gravestone, it's been neglected, but there's no date. Oh, really? I didn't remember that. Yeah, there's no dates. There's no birth or death date mm -hmm. in there. And it, maybe it's partly because, yes, we're going to die. We're all going to die. Well, we don't know when. We don't know when. We don't know that time, that hour, and that. We don't know when in the future. And so... It's not written yet. It's not written. And so is that part of Scrooge saying, you have a chance. Yeah. You can change the things. You will not have to be like this. Right. You, we know you're going to die. Nice. Right? Inevitable, but uh, do you yeah. have the date? the date? We don't know the date. date, and so he starts to change. Change, and then he wakes up. 
Yeah, well, the change starts to happen in that heart. Right, right. Yeah, this heart grew three times the size of that. And he turned green? No. Um, <laughs> he hears. No. We're getting way off track here. <laughs> but he wakes up and he sees that everything is his. It's still there. He's still. He's feeling around and. Almost like nothing happened. Nothing happened. But something did happen. Right. And he hears the bells and he says, it all happened in one night. night. He sticks his head out the window. What day is it? Right. It's Christmas. They were able the to do it. spirits did it in one night. And I just love the way he's so giddy like a yeah. school child. I'm as light as a feather. I'm as happy as an angel. Yeah. I guess angels are happy. I am huh. as merry as a schoolboy. I am as giddy as a drunken man. <laughs> and he's just so excited yeah. that he's had the chance to see yeah. all these things yeah. happen. And that things can change. change. The future is not written. Yeah, so some of that joy, I think, is the fact that, not that it's the joy of Christmas, but the joy of, for lack of a better term, a second chance. Yes, yeah. he has that hope. That, that hope. hope we saw at the beginning. Yeah. He's got that total, total second chance to retry. Right. Do it again. again. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. And he does. It goes through. <laughs> he meets up with the... Uh, the portly man of giving him money. Right, it's just, it's, I, he whispers in his ear. We don't even know how much, much it is, but the man just about falls on the ground. He gets the turkey. Well, I guess he gets the turkey first, but I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. And, then, and he says the turkey not only carry it. Oh, take a cab. It's too big of a turkey. I mean, yeah. the man is so generous with his money all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I might be a little timid, going, "Is he going to stiff me for this or whatever?" <laughs> yeah. Is he nuts? Uh, um, um, yeah, and he. Now, a lot of the movies show that he delivers a turkey and presents to right. Bob Cratchit. But that doesn't, doesn't happen now. No, he, it's, he it's ends anonymous. up some other place. Well, he ends up, he ends up at Fred's. He ends, ends up, up at Fred's. Fred's. Yeah. And even then, he kind of comes with his hat in hand. Yeah. So, um, can I, can I can, is there any way? Is it, right. Because you know, I kind of blew you off. But, you know, is there still room I humbugged you yeah. in that. Is there and, still room is there in, still room in your life? You know? Yeah. And um, Fred is... Um, Yes, you know, let him in, let him in. You know, yeah, set another place at the table. We've got uh, plenty. And yeah. he gives him mercy into yeah. that. Um, it says, um, and within five minutes, it, uh, he, his heart was enlightened, and, and he sat there and he enjoyed a wonderful party, and wonderful games, <laughs> and wonderful happiness. All that happiness. stuff he was just looking down at before. Yeah. And, oh, no. and then it, it comes the day after Christmas. Yeah. And he gets, he gets, it says he gets in as extra early. early. And he sits Just in his in desk in the dark. Yeah. And, and then Bob it, Cratchit comes chimes, in. It, oh, but it's interesting. Here, here are three chimes. Yeah. The tolling in that. The tolling of the nine o'clock. The tolling at the quarter hour. And, uh -huh. it's, and it's the tolling at the 18th minute. Uh -huh. Bob shows up. Three. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Again, I don't want to get into mathematical equations right. and problems in that with variables. But it, there is this happening to it. Yeah. And, and calls him into his office, and if I was Bob, I'd be shaking I, in my boots. I'm going, okay, this well, this is the end of my job. End of my job. This, <laughs> I've been. I'm and good. yeah, and he starts off with this horrible, like he was That's before. Four. But you can mm. probably hear just the twinkle in the back of his yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah. He's probably having to hold it back <laughs> into there. <laughs> yeah, and then he says, and put another scuttle and pull on the fire and get this place warm. Well, and, all right, therefore, you're late. I'm giving you a raise. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know any employer in my history. I don't know about you. Not my that history. Is ever, that you're late. Therefore, you get more money. <laughs> yeah. Um, it'd be um, a nice, good Christmas tradition. It'd be a nice tradition. tradition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, so, and he goes on, and it says his spirit. He became what was it? The uh, Christmas. He lived Christmas year round, round in his heart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that you know he totally changed. Yeah. And there was no better person that kept that spirit. Right. In there, um, and he still he still made money. money. He still well, we assume thing. that because he's able to he's continue. able to continue. You know, I think of uh, somebody like Bill Gates and Melinda. Mm -hmm. the, the the amount of money they have, and they just spend it. Yeah, they don't hold on to it. They they just keep spending spend it. it. Um, how do we live our lives? Do we live our lives with that bah humbug? Especially this year, right? You kind of look at Christmas, you go ah, humbug. Yeah, but I look at. The, the overwhelming, yeah, we see in the news the overwhelming lines for yeah. food banks and toy drives and stuff like that, and, and miles and miles, and people talking about three, four hundred, five hundred times the amount of people in that. Right. Uh, but I also look at um, people who've gone above and beyond who says, I have something in there. Um, there was a couple that I saw in the news that, that um, went to Costco 
and bought out practically all the socks yeah. in there. And they says, we don't, we're spending every last dime in our savings to uh. buy socks. Uh. Um, and then they went to the streets, this is actually in Canada, um, and they went, I think it was Toronto, uh, but don't quote me on that, and they went and, and passed, passed out, out socks. socks to all the homeless people. Wow in there. Yeah. Um, the socks were all bundles in three groups of three or uh -huh. five, something like that, and just passed these socks. And they, and they went to the encampments, huh. uh, you know, um, and, and just passed them out until they were done until with they ran out of socks. Until they ran yeah. out of socks. And they said, we have no more money ourselves, but we know people are warm. Yeah. The, the side funny note that they had to chuckle was that two or three people um, said, oh, these are great. I prefer to wear my flip-flops. Now, this is Canada in December, <laughs> where it is freezing out but it says but I do like socks when I sleep so <laughs> and they never showed any of the, the passing down and that they, they show they drive up but and but it's those, cold in Canada yeah um, uh, it's it's those little things that uh, and and I have to think about my mom and her growing up at the end of the depression and, uh -huh. and a lot of people are in that thing where um, the depression hit hard and people got to thinking of savings Right. You know, and we save for the rainy day. Um, and don't get me wrong, it's not that we shouldn't in that, but is this a rainy day today? Um, will it hurt if we pay for someone's dinner? At a, well, what was it I heard about um, at a drive through for 90 minutes? Everybody paid for the car behind them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They kept paying for the yeah. one behind, the one behind type of a thing. And, uh, but, well, you know, looking at the book, we go, we look at our past. It's written in stone, so, there's nothing we can change, yeah. but we can learn from it. Right. We live in the presence, bringing that, pre that joy, joy that we have, whether it's our money or a smile or, or just a phone call. We live in the moment, and we know the future hasn't been written yet, and we can live the very best with right. Christmas in our spirit all year yeah. round. Who knows what the future will bring? Yeah. 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 So we hope you enjoyed our yeah. books. We're going to take next week off. And we need a break. Now I'll give you a challenge for next week. Um, you don't have to make your own video and then watch yourself. But maybe take um, that day. It's almost New Year's Eve, it's the 30th, mm -hmm. um, which is a great day in history. Uh, I'm not going to tell you why, but you can uh, want to figure that out later. 56 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, but take a moment, and whether you write it out or physically, what was 2020? Huh. The joys. Yeah. I'm talking about the joys in 2020. What were the joys? We harp so much and see the pictures of first responders and food lines and yeah. protest marches that got out of hand and a variety of looting and all and murders and all this in there. But and the news the just splattered with it. Yeah. But what are the joys? Yeah. What are the joys of 2020? That you would write in your memoirs of, <laughs> uh, in there, yeah, um, far into it, and let that be your time video, whatever you normally do, right? Next and, Wednesday, and if you want to send it to us, we'll take a look yeah. at it, and uh, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. We'll prove and it and decide uh, whether it's joyful. <laughs> no, um, we'll, we'll get back to you, to you. on Epiphany, Epiphany, which is uh, the feast of the three kings. kings. Uh, that's on the sixth of January. January. We'll be back with you, yeah, twelve right. days. Well, we'll see you on Christmas Eve, we hope, whether in the parking lot or online, and have a very Merry Christmas.